Hi, my name is Lasma. Welcome back to my channel. If you want to see how I made this, stay tuned for the video. For this basket, you will need firm cotton fabric, firm usable interfacing, and uh, contrasting lining for the basket, as well as needles that are heavy duty ones, preferably meant for jeans fabric, and some thread and scissors, and of course your sewing machine. First we start off by cutting a rectangle from our exterior fabric, this one, uh, 40 by 30 centimeters. And we do the same thing with our lining and interfacing and we will need two rectangles for the handles measuring 22 by 8 centimeters when you have done that we need to iron on the interfacing on the exterior fabric we place the glue side down on the fabric and iron it on. Now that we have the interfacing on, we need to join right sides together. And sew along the edge, the, the side and the bottom seams, one centimeter from the edge. And now let's do the same thing for the lining. Also one centimeter along the edge. You can pin it together so it doesn't move. And so. For the lining, when you get to the bottom seam, one third, one quarter of the way, stop and leave an opening and then continue and go again. The bottom seam and the side seam because you will need to turn the lining inside out. When you have done that, you need to press open the seams. It might be a little bit difficult because the fabric is quite stiff, but this is important, so let's do it. One way to do it is just have it on one side and try to go on and just press one side down. I use this very handy wooden tool. It's great for pressing down my seams. And let's do the same thing for the lining. What we do next is we take our fabric 
we open it up and we pinch together the side seam and the bottom seam. You can even take a pin and to get it and get it through one seam and then check if it comes out on the other seam. Yep. Yeah, it's quite difficult at this point. Okay. So once it's down, mark 10 centimeters from each edge. Once you have done that, join those two marks. Now pin them together and sew along the line. Remove pins. And now we need to cut off ex excess fabric. Like this. And now let's do the same thing for the other side. And now we can turn this inside out. And now we need to do the exact same thing for the lining. Also mark 10 centimeters from each corner. Open up, mark 10 centimeters from each corner. Draw a line and sew. Now take the smaller rectangles, the 8 by 22 centimeters, mark centimeter from each of the two longer sides, fold them down and press them. Now when you have done this, fold it in half. and press it again. Now that you have done this, we need to sew one millimeter from the edge that, it, that was open. Now I will top stitch the other side as well. You can skip this step, it's totally optional. So 
uh, top stitch both, both of the sides. I just think it looks really nice, especially if you're using a contrasting thread for your fabric, then it definitely looks so much better if it's done on both sides. Now repeat the same thing on the other rectangle. So when both of them are ready, take your exterior fabric, find the seam and measure out three centimeters from the seam. Now that you have marked three centimeters from each side, place your handles like this, down. And now sew them onto the, the basket about half a centimeter from the edge. You can go back and forth a few times to make it stronger. And now it's time to add the lining. We have the right side in and the left side on the outside. Place the exterior fabric inside. Right sides together. Handle in. and try to match the seams and pin all around. And when this is done, we need to sew around the basket one centimeter from the edge. Now let's remove the pins and turn the lining inside out. And the last thing that we need to do is close this gap in our lining. So this is the final product, we've made a fabric basket. I'm really pleased with the results. I think it looks really cute and it's super practical. You can use it for all sorts of storage, toys, scarves, clothes, so anything. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope to see you in another video. Goodbye.